Unit Five. Wonders of Vietnam. Unit Five. Page Fifty. Getting Started. Activity One. Listen and read. Guess what? I'm going to Hue City next week. That's great. Are you excited? Very. You've been there, haven't you? Yes, I have. Three times actually. It's an amazing place. How are you getting there? My father suggests we should go by air. That's too expensive. I suggest going by train. You can meet people and see a lot of beautiful sights from the train. That sounds better. And do you know any good places to stay in Hue City? I'd recommend the Romance Hotel. I can give you the address if you like. Great, thanks. What's the best way to get around? It's probably best to use rickshaws. It's said that they're quicker and cheaper than taxis. Hmm, that's good to know. So, what are the things we shouldn't miss? Any good museums? Uh, no. Don't bother going to the museums. There are much better things to see there. You should definitely see the Royal Citadel. It's said that this complex of monuments is one of the wonders of Vietnam. In fact, it's listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Yes, that's what I've heard. So, what else is worth seeing? Unit Five. Page fifty-two. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity four. Listen and repeat, paying attention to the words in red, in each pair of sentences. One. This is a solution, but not the only one. Attempts to find a solution have failed. Two. I'm fond of bananas. Bananas are what I'm fond of. Three. It's not trick and treat. It's trick or treat. I need Peter and Mary, or John and Nick to help me. Four. It's good but expensive. You shouldn't put but at the end of the sentence. Unit five. Page fifty-three. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity five. Read the mini talks and underline the short words: for, the, from, and, but, at, of. Two. You think use the strong form. Then listen and check. One. Where are you from? I'm from Hanoi. Two. Can you come and check this paragraph for me? It's okay, but you shouldn't use and at the beginning of the paragraph. Three. Did you ask her to join our group? I've asked her several times, but she doesn't want to. Four. Is this letter from Peter? No, the letter is to him, not from him. Unit five. Page fifty-five. Communication. Activity one. Listen to the radio program from fourteen. Then decide whether the following statements are true or false.
Welcome to our game show called What's What? Please welcome our three guests, Mary, Linda and Wong, who will be taking part in the game today. Good, Good evening, evening everyone. everyone. Now, the rules of the game are simple. I will read out six sentences that describe one of the wonders of Vietnam, either natural or man-made. This description won't include the proper names of any places. My three contestants have to work out what the wonder is. Whoever gives the correct answer first is the winner. Sounds easy. Well, let's see. You are the winner and get a special gift if you can give the correct answer before I finish reading out all six sentences. But if you give the incorrect answer, you're out of that round of the game. Exciting. Now, do all of you understand how to play the game? Yes. yes. Okay then, let's play What's What? Unit 5 Page 55 Communication Activity 2 Listen to the next part of the radio programme. Then... Fill in the gaps with the words or numbers you hear. First sentence. It's a natural wonder in the central part of our country. Dung, do you want to risk the answer? Yes, it's easy. That's Fomnya Cave. No, sorry, that's incorrect. So you're out of this round, Dung. Oh, dear. Second sentence. It's a spectacular cave located 200 metres above sea level near the west branch of a highway. Do either of you have the answer, Mary and Linda? No, not yet. Not me. OK, so I will continue with the third sentence. It's situated in a national park. Is it Stone Cave in Kiangang? No, Kiangang isn't in the centre of the country, Linda. So we have only one person, Mary, still in the game now. So nervous. And the fourth sentence. The cave was discovered by a local man in 2005. I know. It must be Tian Dung, or Paradise Cave in Quan Bin. Correct, Mary. Congratulations. You gave the correct answer before I read out the sixth sentence. So you win this round of the game and get a special gift. Unit 5 Page 57 Skills 2 Listening Activity 2 Listen again and complete the data chart. It is said that Halon Bay is a magical place attracting more tourists than ever since UNESCO's recognition of this beautiful spot. It is situated in the northeast region of Vietnam. With its rich history and picturesque setting, Halong Bay is the perfect destination for any tourist. Halong Bay is one of the most extraordinary natural wonders you will ever see. Viewed from any angle, Halong Bay looks like a work of art. It has 1,969 islands, concentrated in two main zones, the southeast, belonging to Bai Tu Lom Bay, and the southwest, belonging to Ha Lom Bay. At the centre of the islands, there are wonderful caverns, such as Tien Kum, Dao Go, Sun Sot, and Tam Kum. For those interested in history, a visit to Van Dun Island, Poem Mountain and the Bakdang River is a must. It is now known that Harlom was one of the places where humans first existed. Don't miss out on a visit to Harlom Bay. With its long history and astounding natural beauty, it is truly unforgettable. Unit 5 Page 57 
Skills two. Listening. Activity one. Listen to what a tourist says about Harlem Bay, and decide whether the following statements are true or false. It is said that Harlem Bay is a magical place, attracting more tourists than ever since UNESCO's recognition of this beautiful spot. It is situated in the northeast region of Vietnam, with its rich history and picturesque setting. Halon Bay is the perfect destination for any tourist. Halon Bay is one of the most extraordinary natural wonders you will ever see. Viewed from any angle, Halon Bay looks like a work of art. It has one thousand nine hundred and sixty-nine islands, concentrated in two main zones: the southeast, belonging to Bai Tu Lom Bay, and the southwest. Belonging to Harlem Bay. At the centre of the islands, there are wonderful caverns, such as Tien Kum, Dao Go, Sun Sot, and Tam Kum. For those interested in history, a visit to Van Dun Island, Poem Mountain, and the Bac Dang River is a must. It is now known that Harlem was one of the places where humans first existed. Don't miss out on a visit to Harlem Bay, with its long history and astounding natural beauty. It is truly unforgettable. Unit five, page fifty-seven. Skills two. Listening. Activity one. Listen to what a tourist says about Harlem Bay, and decide whether the following statements are true or false. It is said that Harlem Bay is a magical place, attracting more tourists than ever since UNESCO's recognition of this beautiful spot. It is situated in the northeast region of Vietnam. With its rich history and picturesque setting, Harlem Bay is the perfect destination for any tourist. Harlem Bay is one of the most extraordinary natural wonders you will ever see. Viewed from any angle, Harlem Bay looks like a work of art. It has one thousand nine hundred and sixty-nine islands, concentrated in two main zones: the southeast, belonging to Bai Tu Lom Bay. And the southwest, belonging to Harlem Bay. At the centre of the islands, there are wonderful caverns, such as Tien Kum, Dao Go, Sun Sot, and Tam Kum. For those interested in history, a visit to Van Dun Island, Poem Mountain, and the Bac Dang River is a must. It is now known that Harlem was one of the places where humans first existed. Don't miss out on a visit to Harlem Bay, with its long history and astounding natural beauty. It is truly unforgettable.